A lot of confusion since the passage of the Utah Medical Cannabis Act, or Proposition 2, late last year. Well, families are caught in the middle of a new law, often misunderstood and at times unclear for those enforcing the law. Emily Roberts is one of them. She says a judge is threatening to take her daughters away because she uses medical cannabis. I am terrified that every time we go to court, my kids are going to be taken. It's a real fear because it's happened before. Two decades ago, Emily was in a car accident, leaving her with chronic back and nerve pain. None of the pain medications worked until she tried medical cannabis. For the first time in 20 years, I could walk pain free. I realized that day that I finally had a little bit of hope. I couldn't foresee that this hope would become my greatest fear because of the government trying to take my kids away from me. Her greatest fear came true when she and her family hit a rough spot, losing their home and so much more. But our world came crashing down and DCFS took our kids, arguing that our living situation was not stable enough for their liking. The courts then ordered drug tests. Instead of using medical cannabis um, with THC, I actually enrolled in the state-sponsored CBD research program. I failed a court-ordered drug test simply because I was taking CBD. The judge didn't like the results of this. DCFS claimed I was breaking the law, even though I wasn't. These patients are not criminals. Dr. DJ Shantz, chairman of the Utah Cannabis Association, says government agencies and Emily's judge are disregarding the law. We're going to continue to remain vigilant to make sure that we tighten up these laws and continue to help patients. Stop taking the CBD against my doctor's orders and the pain has returned in full force. I'm being forced to choose between my pain and my kids. This isn't justice, it's cruel. Advocates say Emily's case is not unique and they're hoping an upcoming special session next Monday will clear up the law to strengthen patient protections.